Hey everybody, Matthew Barbie with Perfect Company. I want to take a moment and show you a great feature in Perfect Bake and Perfect Blend. We'll be using Perfect Bake as our example today, but that is how to use the pantry feature. You'll notice in your navigation bar you have a little pantry icon, so you click on that, and this is where all the ingredients live. Whole bunch of them in here, probably everything you're going to need to make just about anything there is out there. Now you see each of these categories has a little plus sign, that means you can expand that, get into all the different ingredients. We'll start with flour, do a lot of flour stuff in baking. So you probably have all purpose flour, bread flour, maybe buckwheat flour, cake flour, what else? Corn flour, oat flour, quinoa, I love rye bread, so I have rye flour, self rising flour, etc., etc. So now when you go back into your browse screen, you'll notice there's a little bar graph that's come up for each recipe. What that does is show you exactly what percentage of the recipe you can make with what you have on hand. Now obviously I didn't fill up a lot of my pantry, so it's not saying that I can make a whole bunch, but you get the idea. Also in the pantry, you can add a new ingredient. So I really love blue corn chips, so I'm going to add blue corn flour to my pantry. Now I'm going to hit new ingredient. Now I need to select an ingredient to base my new ingredient on. This is so the app has a general idea of the density of your new ingredient so that the app can scale your recipe correctly. So I'll hit OK. Now I want to do blue corn flour, so that's probably really close to corn flour. So I'll select corn flour, hit new ingredient, brings me to my new ingredient screen. Then I just input the name of my new ingredient, so blue. Hit done. Now I could add a description if I wanted to, maybe a photo, change the color. I also want to give it a category. Now it is corn flour, but I'd like to call it just a regular flour, so I select that little button here. Gives me some options. I hit flour. There we are. Hit save. OK. My ingredient has been saved. I click back, and now here we are. Blue corn flour. Check that box off right there. Now there's a little menu button down here, so if you've selected an ingredient, like let's say bread flour, hit this button. Here you can get pantry help if you have any questions about the pantry ingredient info or clear out your pantry if you wanted to start over from scratch. So if you hit ingredient info, this will bring you up to a nice little photo, little description. So if you have any questions about any ingredient you see in the pantry, hopefully I can answer that question for you. If it's an ingredient that you've added to the pantry and you hit your button again, you'll get a few extra options. We still get pantry help and ingredient info, but I can also edit my ingredient or delete it entirely. So that's pretty much all you need to know about using the pantry. If you have any other questions or comments, please let us know at makeitperfectly.com and as always, have a perfect day.